Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Book 2, Unit 7, Infinitives for Reasons. Dear students, in this unit we will study about infinitives and infinitives that gives you reason. Let's look at the objectives of this unit. After completing this unit, you will be able to have knowledge of using infinitives for reasons and identify the place of adjective in a sentence. Okay, now let's do some practice about infinitives. First of all, you should know what is infinitive. Okay, so you should know what is an infinitive. Okay, so basically you need to remember three important things. Okay, like infinitive infinitive it is a form of a verb okay it is a form of a verb but it's not a verb okay it's form of a verb but it is not a verb it is a form of a verb but it is not a verb okay second thing that we can say is infinitive it can be a noun okay it can be a noun or an adjective or it can be an adverb okay infinitive can be a noun adjective and an adverb okay and infinitive will always be two okay we will use two plus verb okay so you need to remember these three things first of all it is form of a verb but it is not a verb second thing it can be in the form of a noun adjective an adverb and infinitive will always be two plus verb okay for example look at uh, look at this sentence I'm going to Jeddah to see my relatives okay so you can see here C is the verb and two to C so it becomes an infinitive okay I'm going to Jeddah to see my relatives let's look at the next example I need to go shopping to get a suitcase okay I need to go to shopping to get a suitcase to get is the infinitive and we have a reason why you are going to shopping why you need to go for shopping okay because you need to get a suitcase let's look at the next example I have to go online to find a flight okay so here we are using infinitive for reasons I have to go online to find a flight. Now, is it easy to find bargains online? Okay. Is it easy to find bargains online? It's easy to do. Okay. It's easy to do. It's not hard to do. So, in all these sentences, okay, you can see that we are using infinitive and we make infinitive by adding two to the verb okay and then we have a reason why you are using infinitive because there is reason I'm going to Jeddah why to see my relatives I need to go shopping why to get a suitcase I need to go online why to find a flight okay is it easy to find bargains online okay it's easy to do it's not hard to do okay let's go to the next part of this unit here we'll talk about advice and suggestions okay giving advice and suggestions okay now what should I take okay somebody needs an advice what should I take okay it can be in any sense what should I take for lunch what should I take for dinner or if uh, you want to decide your course which course should I take 
okay whether I should go uh, for engineering or medical okay what should I take should I take these shoes okay should I take these shoes you're taking advice you should take a hat okay the suggestion is you should take a hat okay so in these two sentences what should I take and should I take these shoes you are asking about advice and you should take a hat you're giving suggestion you shouldn't take an expensive camera this is another suggestion you shouldn't take an expensive camera you could borrow your dad's hat you could borrow your dad's hat you need to have warm clothes okay you need to have warm clothes do you want to pack some other shoes okay do you want to pack some other shoes this is a suggestion why don't you take a hat okay why don't you take a hat this is an advice it's a good idea okay to pack a jacket this is a suggestion take a flashlight okay this is an advice don't forget to pack some batteries okay so usually advice is given by an elder to a younger man okay like the elders your parents can get give advice to you okay or your teachers can give advice to you okay sometimes your more experienced friends can give advice to you suggestion is from uh, friends okay like suggestion means something you can take or you can leave okay so even sometimes your parents can give you a suggestion but it's up to you to decide okay if you think you are more experienced then you can take your own decision so this is all for today hope you would have enjoyed your grammar class see you in the next class